Hey guys, JRS is Auctions on the um, Cool Otaku's channel. Um, so, my voice is really, really like sort of nasally and weird. It's because I'm kind of ill because someone in school must have passed on his um, cold to me. So, now I'm like this. Uh, but, anyway, yeah, this is the video where we talk about um, what makes a true anime fan. I did something about this on my JMM Vlogs channel. So, if you want to and you have like, I think it's nine minutes to spare, you can go to the annotation and link that I'll put in this video and you can see there, because that is a bit more of an in-depth video on this. But I'm going to make this one really short. Um, basically, I think what makes a um, anime, I think there's different tiers of anime fan, fandom, um, just like there's different tiers of um, gamers. Um, I think there's like the three tier, okay, the four tiers I think there is. There's a casual anime fan, like a middle ground anime fan, should I say, a hardcore anime fan, and um, a lifeless de degenerate. And um, I would put myself in the category of ha um, hardcore anime fan, um, and I'm going to explain to you the reasons for this. But bottom line, if you for all anime fans, this is the requirement that I feel that all anime fans should meet. You should know what anime is. You should enjoy it, and you should have at least, you should at least watch or have completed two anime series. Because two, you're, you're an anime fan, so you're not just a fan of one single show. You're a fan of at least two because that's multiple animes. And obviously, if you know what anime is and you enjoy it, you, you should be an anime fan. That's just a requirement of every single anime fan, I feel. Um, but Casual one, a casual anime fan just meets that requirement that I just set out. Two animes, finished it, finished or they're still ongoing, know what anime is. Middle anime fan, they, they're they similar to the casual anime fan in a way, but it's just that they've watched more animes and um, they know slightly more. They may, they may know about different genres as well. A hardcore anime fan is someone like me who knows of the different genres, has watched a lot of different genres, Watch quite a lot of anime. Um, watches anime very regularly. Um, goes as far as to buy anime and manga. Um, obviously, it doesn't mean you have to buy a lot, but I feel you should at least buy some, or have bought something. Or if if you're not financially stable, I understand. If you haven't bought anything, I still think you can be a hardcore anime fan. But even me, I don't have the most money, but I always make sure I buy something at least. Um, also, like going as far as to know the names of the people that made it, um, like I know a, a hundred, like I know loads of manga's names and people who make anime content. Like there's Hayao Miyazaki who's done a load of films. Um, there's Osamu Tezuka who's made um, Astro Boy and influenced a lot of people in the industry. Akira Toriyama who did Dragon Ball Z, Doctor Slump, um, Sandman. I think this is one shot. Um, Oda and Kishima, a lot of people know um, female mangakas like Kaizu Kaito, um, Aromu Aokara. Um, I'm missing out one. I, I'm sure a female does. Um, what's its face? Kakashi. I don't like Kakashi anyway. Um, going as far as to know facts like that, and even like I said with the genres, like the shonens. Um, shonen is a massive genre in itself because it has so many sub-genres and I still think someone can be a hardcore anime fan but has only dabbled in shonens like me it's not that I've only dabbled in shonens I've, I've watched other things apart from shonens but a majority of what I've watched is shonens because there's so many different ones there's the main action shonens you get there's the mystery ones like Case Closed there's Slice of Life sort of show. this one confuses me Bartender is one I like. I need to do a review of that soon. I'm probably going to do it next weekend. Upload it whenever. That to me is is licensed. No, it was produced and shown in Ace Magazine. But I get the feeling it's a setting because of the whole theme of the show. But at the same time, it was shown in Ace, so that confuses me. Same with Haruhi. Haruhi originally, when I thought I thought it was a shojo, but apparently it isn't. Apparently, some people say it's a setting, and some people say. It's a shonen because it's in Shonen Ace as well, Shonen Ace magazine. So that one just confused the hell out of me. Um, sports shonens as well. 
Um, you get the sci-fi shonen, and in general, you get animes that aren't shonen at all, but they're just sci-fi. They may be um, they may be sci-fi. They may be mystery. They may be supernatural. Um, they may just be depressing, like something like Rainbow. Um, I'm trying to think. Etchies like High School of the Dead, um, which I I think High School of the Dead is cool. Um, yeah, and you know, another thing that hardcore anime fans do, um, in my opinion, is something like um, you know, there's seasons for anime. Um, each season, a new couple of new animes come out. Um, they may pick up one or two series from the season. Like, I mean, from this season, even though I haven't watched all of the episodes, I picked up Detalion No Shocker, which is quite interesting. I like the art style. I like, I think Gainax is the one. Yeah, Gainax is doing it. The animation's really good for that, and I, I quite enjoyed it. And then you get Sacred 7, um, Yokorama, DK, Josh, I hate you too. Um, no, I'm joking, but um, those that they said suggested it to me before it even aired, but... It's, it's somewhat of a disappointment, I'll put it that way. I will finish it though, because it's 13 episodes. Same with Italia and No Shocker, but I'm, I'm really behind on both of them too. And then last season, I, I know I picked up Blue Exorcist and I picked up something else, I can't remember. Dead Man Wonderland, I finished that. I need to upload that review I did with it. Um, yeah, they'll pick up things from each season. I think I'm forgetting something, but yeah, I mean, more in depth video on my vlog channel. Um, what are your thoughts? What do you think makes an anime fan? Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the lifeless degenerate. The lifeless degenerate is someone that... I mean, me, I love anime and manga. I love games as well. I love certain things. I love sort of certain medias. But it it does take up... It takes up quite a bit of my time. But at the end, at the end of the day, I know that family, friends, and... Um, School is also a priority too, even though I don't enjoy school that much, and even though my family annoys me, even though my friends can annoy me at some point, um, I do know there's other things out there, and I'm not just gonna. And you get the weeaboos as well that just say Japan do the best thing ever when other countries do great things, because even though I'm not into comics, I like the comic book characters, I like movies that are made produced in America, um, I like all sort of mediums from all different types of countries as well, so. Lifeless degenerates just talk, just talk and think about anime and manga, and think nothing else is important. And that's a bad mindset to have it. Um, just be in. Um, I love anime and manga, as I said, but I love other things too. Um, and when times are tough, yeah, sometimes I can watch an anime episode and feel better. But at the same time, you know, when times are tough with your family, you have to that has to take priority school as even if it even if school isn't that interesting you have to like um that has to be a priority and you have to step up and make sure your grades are good and all of that stuff but i mean lifeless degenerates are bad and they're what make anime fans bad in general but anyway um uh, what was i gonna say um J-Man's productions on the cool otakus. Otakus can be cool. Um, sorry that there haven't been a lot of videos this week. I mean, only me and Uncle Main have uploaded. I don't know what's going on with this channel. I don't want it to die because I think it's a pretty good channel. And we've, we've, came, we've come a, um, a long way. I mean, we have over 200 and something subscribers. So thank you guys for subscribing as well. Um... Yeah, I'll catch you in another video. Sorry that I sound really ill in this video. Um, peace.